Welcome back everyone to the LibGDX development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be discussing the Asset Manager. As your application grows in size, you probably want something to manage your resources. This is where LibGDX includes the Asset Manager class. The Asset Manager helps you to manage your resources when loading your application. As you can see on the LibGDX docs, it shows a brief summary on what it is and on how to initialize. I will have a link to this page in the description if you want to check it out. And let's get started creating our own asset manager. All right, so we're gonna create a new asset manager. We're gonna do inside the create method, we do asset manager equals new asset manager. And as you can see, if we middle mouse button and click on this, the constructor is quite simple. And that is how you initialize a asset manager. Now there are some methods to keep in mind when using the asset manager, since it's very simple to use is first one is the load method. So we can see by clicking on the load method, there's uh, one that we'll choose is be the first one. And you see the first parameter and the second parameter um, are both a string and a class type. So the string will actually be the file name or the path towards the resource. And then the class type is the type of resource that you're loading in. So if we go back here, we're gonna go to the string and we're gonna paste in our path towards the resource. And then since we're loading a texture, we're gonna do texture.class. So another method that is optional is a method for finished loading. So if we middle mouse button click on it and if we take a look we can see that this method blocks until all resources have been loaded so it will block the thread that it's running on until the asset manager has finished this right here uh, can be optional for example if you would like to load a uh, loading menu or display a loading menu then you might not want to have this method but if you have a case where you want to the application to force to load resources, then this will be a perfect method for that use. Now, if we go down here, we're going to use uh, our texture to be rendered as a quad. So we're going to do texture. We'll call this my texture. And then we're going to use the asset manager dot get. So the, there are a few get methods. Uh, we'll choose the simplest of form. Uh, will be this one, which takes in a file name, which is the exact same uh, path towards the resource that we just put in in the load method and then the class type. So we go back here, we put in the path and then we put in the type. One last thing about the asset manager is the dispose technique. So if we call asset manager dot dispose, this will dispose resources that is not needed by your application automatically. All right, I hope you guys learned something new about the asset manager for libgdx uh, for this quick little video. Um, there is a lot to do when it comes to loading assets and how to properly load them as well as dispose of them. Uh, this is also very important when it comes to many different applications, whether small or big, for freeing up memory and as well to make more better performance for your application. All right, everyone, have a good one.